Thank you for buying and purchasing your Bluetooth product from Wireless Marketing Limited. This is your training video and I'm going to go through the main features of your Bluetooth system and I promise to be as quick, concise and precise as I can and I shouldn't trouble you for more than six or seven minutes. The first thing that you're likely to do when you start with Bluetooth is to create a new campaign. Please click on the Create New Campaign button and select a name for your new campaign. The next thing you want to do is to, to add a file. So step two, we're going to browse for that file and within my sample pictures I have some images that I've created or I want to use and I will select this particular image here. Bluetooth very conveniently does come with some uh, basic image making tools which we will go through shortly. Alternatively you can use your built in paint within Windows or Macs have um, very good systems as well. The other thing I can do is add an optional file, so if I wanted to send up two campaigns at the same time, I can add a business card so that your address details arrive in your recipient's um, address book and the same um, facility happens with an event calendar. So I'm now going to click and save that campaign and the next thing I want to do is schedule that campaign. So I click the next button down and I look for my campaign which I found called New Campaign and I'm going to start today and I will end it tomorrow and I'm going to click select campaign. This brings me through to the campaign broadcast screen where I can see the name of my campaign plus the file that I'm sending and I'm going to click start. There we go. This button over here, the statistics will tell me the number of devices discovered, uh, the currently in range, uh, attempted deliveries, average sent per phone, total deliveries, total declined in your percentage success. This useful feature over here means that I can exclude a particular phone from this particular campaign or in fact from all future campaigns. For example, if you have a colleague in the office who uh, is, is constantly um, getting um, Bluetooth approaches uh, from your tests, you may want to exclude them from all future campaigns. By clicking pause, I can pause the campaign. By clicking stop, I can stop the campaign. And by going to chart, I can look at the number of phones discovered per hour over the, uh, the time scale of the campaign. The next thing I'm going to do is to go back into my home screen by clicking the home button. This button is an exit button and this button is a minimize button. So going back into the home screen, I can go to my campaign manager. And here I've got listed all my existing campaigns. And by right clicking on a campaign, I can choose to delete that campaign. If I want to look at a historic campaign, I can click on that campaign and I can look at the statistics attached with that campaign. And by clicking print, I can bring up a printable um, results screen of the campaign success, including the campaigns discovered per hour, the success rate, an image of the campaign and the campaign name. Next thing I'm going to show you, if I click this button to go back, are some of the image making tool, uh, toolbox facilities. So here within this, um, this program here, I've got a camera um, loaded onto my PC at the moment. So I could in fact make a short video by clicking the short video, or I could uh, in fact take a photo with this. What I'm going to do is choose a background image. And again, I'm going to use this uh, same image we had before. And if I wanted to overlay text on top, I could just write the word text in the text box and click add text and I can move that around to wherever I want. If I want to change the background color, I can change it to say white, add more text. And again, I can move that around. I will give my campaign a name and then I will And I can click to save it, and I can save it in my sample pictures as a PNG or a JPEG is, um, is equally good. So the next thing I can look at is a very useful little tool that we have, which is a business card creator. And again, I can put in my name, my mobile, my email address details, my address details, my surname, my web address. And when you send that and that is accepted by your recipient, then your, your business card, as it were, are instantly um, saved into the uh, recipient's phone. So this 
file is saved as a VCF file and that's the, the basic phone uh, file ending that most mobile phones will accept. The very same principle applies to the event calendar creator again putting in a subject, location, start, end time, description and on most phones as this um, event is about to happen the, uh, the, the phone owner will be warned that the event is about to start. Over here we've added a very nice little tool which is an animated GIF maker to add a little bit of dimension to your campaigns. Please, uh, when sending a campaign, we are you know, just a software company um, and perhaps the bridge between you and your customers, but if you send things that are engaging, amusing, relevant, you're likely to have a better response. Um, it's no point just saying you're open um, if people are walking past your shop, for example, because they can probably see you've got lights on. What you want is something which is either going to be of immediate benefit for them, a coupon or a voucher, or something that's funny and amusing that they're going to say, that's engaging, I'm going to send that to a friend, or I'm going to put it on YouTube, or they're going to show it to other people. You really want the, the, the viral benefits of, of any campaign. So here I'm going to add uh, this familiar, now familiar image, and I'm going to add a further image, which is this one here, and I may as well add two more while I'm at it and add, whoops, let's add the koala bear and there we are. So I've got four images now together I'm going to ask it to rotate every half second and I'm going to click animate. And here we now have the animated image which is what we'll play on the uh, telephone and again I can save that wherever I want that to be as a GIF file. Finally now, if we go into the settings, um, we have some options in here. One is that I can select for the system to launch at startup. So if you've got a kiosk situation or you'll just turn, you turn your, your computer off at night and restart it, if you have a campaign that's either in the process of its uh, campaign schedule or is scheduled for some time in the future, then it will automatically uh, begin the campaign and start broadcasting and you can select for it to even run in the taskbar. Here are your retry attempts to a phone. We set it at 5, 10, 15 and 20 and unlimited. Um, we recommend you keep it sort of between 5 and 10. If you are sending to a device which is not responding um, then it, it means that that connection is being lost on somebody who may connect. Over here we've put pairing codes in, some smartphones require it, not very many, but you can change what you think is the, the most likely pairing code, 1234000. You really should um, change, it's important to, to change the computer name and also the name of the file um, to something which is um, indicative of the business that you are, so that when it arrives on somebody's phone and they ask whether or not to accept your file, um, they can get an indication of where it is from. The campaign refresh time is a, a useful little uh, um, setting. If you're in a uh, scenario, let's say for example at a trade show, where you may very quickly get several hundreds um, of people um, discovered, by the time the uh, system is sending maybe to the 150th person, that person may have easily have left the uh, range of the discovery of the system and so you're sending to a phantom phone. So we suggest that you might change it to a shorter campaign refresh time so therefore it resets itself and only looks for phones that are currently in range. The broadcast timeout facility over here allows you to um, determine how long the campaign should be sent to an individual phone. Let's say for example you're in a conference and you're wanting to send out that PowerPoint uh, presentation then you may allow a minute per phone, it gives somebody plenty of time to see the message um, is, is arriving and to accept it, or rapid so you can quickly move on to the, the next potential uh, candidate and also auto over here, um, which is a mathematical calculation that we make depending on the number of phones discovered. I hope that has been uh, extremely clear for you and I hope you uh, enjoy using your Bluetooth device. Thank you very much.